Have you ever tried to create a really cool resin feature with colours mixing and intertwining into each other to make a really cool pattern but without each colour mixing? Yeah, of course. Not as expected, we've all been there, I'm sure. Me, many times. So today, we're gonna be doing a couple of experiments to see if there is a better way to be able to intertwine these colors into the resin to make that really cool feature. You rock. First, we need to mix up some resin. And for that, we're gonna be using the Entropy Fast. Because it's, well, fast. Now what we really ideally want is the resin to be thick as possible. Now a lot of resins aren't thick initially. They obviously take a little while to get their thickness. We either wait around for this to solidify in some way. Okay, so for our first little experiment, we're gonna put a little bit of this in the freezer. Yep, in the freezer. A few minutes later, So, that has now been in the freezer for six minutes. Um, now, this might be an old wife tale, but I think it's actually got a bit thicker, you know. So we're gonna give this a bash. I'll split this up into two sections and see if that makes any difference. Now, for consistency, I'm gonna stick with the same colors. So we're gonna go with the purple and the white. So get a bit of purple in there. Because that could make a really cool, you know, contrasting feature if it works. <laughs> now, I've done this before, obviously, but I never had massive success with it. Okay, so this is, again, much thicker now. Uh, well, so it's not much thicker, but it is a bit thicker. Than it was before, so let's get this mixed in. Now we can always use these if they're any good. There's like inserts for a project or something. So I'm going to give it a bit of a swirl, mix it in, and make some, some cool pens. Right, there we go, there's our first one set in the freezer. <laughs> So we're naming this one Freezer. 
and then we'll put that in the pressure pot and see what happens in the morning. Right, there we go, I've written freezer on there, so we know that that one was the one that went in the freezer. Now with this one, this is the other one that we did. I'm stuck on the bottom. Right? This is the other one, so you can see it's definitely more runny. But I'm gonna leave that for about an hour and come back in an hour and see if we can get this to be a bit thicker. See you in a bit. I'm sorry, we seem to be having some technical difficulties. Okay, we are back and it's been about an hour and <laughs> I've missed my window with that one. It is gone already. It's been over an hour actually, about an hour and a half. But yeah, that's no good. <laughs> I did knock up another one because obviously I want to do another two more experiments. So I've got this one here, this one here. Don't worry about that, that was me. <laughs> but it should be fine for the uh, purpose of the experiment. Um, so I've done another one and this one has been about an hour now. So there's a very fine window, but that's definitely thickened up a lot. So we will use this one, because I reckon this one will be going off very shortly. We don't want it to go off completely, we just want it to thicken up really nice. Right, and what I might do as well, I know I said I was going to keep it consistent, but I might change the colours. Maybe keep the white, but maybe try and have a different, maybe red and white or something. <laughs> Now I'm gonna use this really cool, funky looking orange for this third experiment. And I'm gonna use this resin blast. This is supposed to separate uh, the colors a bit. Really thick. It's kind of what we want, really. You don't want to end up with one solid colour. Right, well, that's kind of sort of what I wanted, but <laughs> I don't know. It depends if it just ends up all orange or not. We want to keep the white in there. So that's got the resin blast in it. That is heated up over an hour. And then we've got the other one, which we stuck in the freezer. Right, let's add this one in. And this one is one hour. <laughs> one, one hour. And this one is with the resin blast in it. Also over an hour. Right, I'll see you in the morning. Right, so we have three experiments cooking in the pot. <laughs> One, we stuck in the freezer. <laughs> Two, we left for about an hour and a half. That one obviously didn't work. The other one I mixed up afterwards was about an hour. That was starting to go off. And then we used the same resin, add some blast to see if that had any different effects. Let's see what happened. Okay, folks, this is it. <laughs> so I've just unbolted. Um, I haven't taken the lid off yet. I thought I'd wait to see the actual result with you together. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping this, or one of these, is gonna be good. Oh, the first one is looking good. So that is our mixed blast. 
turned out quite nice. Oh, yes. Look at this. Now, that is exactly what we're looking for. Where you haven't got the whole kind of like normally what would happen for me is and for a lot of people is that that it would just be red. Um, I'm interested to see the freezer one now. Um, let's look at the freezer one and see if this actually worked. No, I'll take this out like this. Are we ready? Is this going to be good or not? <laughs> oh, mm, not, not really. But... There's a little bit in there, actually, so maybe, I mean, a lot of that, I mean, you remember when it went in, that looked really cool when it went in, and obviously now it's more just purple, so it hasn't, it hasn't had the, the actual reaction that we wanted like this, but maybe I only put it in the freezer for six minutes, so maybe we just need to leave it in there for a bit longer. It's still got some of the white in there, you can see, but not massively. But I think, I don't know, what is your favourite? I think this is definitely my favourite. I think that, on a larger scale, would be really, really funky. <laughs> so, I mean, this is very similar, but obviously we use the resin blast in that. So, but I think what we could probably take from this today is that leaving the resin a bit longer or trying to get it to be a bit thicker uh, will create you a much cooler pattern um, and like I say we've all been to these places where we've tried to mix up the colors and it's ended up like that <laughs> this one's pretty cool as well same concept but we use a resin blast on it this stuff let's open all these up and have a good look that's quite cool Oh, oh, no way! <laughs> oh, well, that did look quite good. We know the concept worked. <laughs> but, um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have beat it like that. Um, mm, too early, really. Taking it out too early. Well, we could make some little necklaces, maybe, out of these. Little pendants and stuff. But, uh, hmm, interesting. Well, there is the one that we liked a lot. Um, I hope this one doesn't break. Again, they're not fully cured yet, really, so I need to leave them in here for another day or so. But I've taken them out a little bit too early, but at least they're cured enough for us to look at. Um, so, <laughs> I think it's safe to say that the experiment went pretty well Apart from it breaking, but again, we'll probably use that. I'll let these cure for a bit and they'll be fine, but they're still not fully cured. See, so look, I can bend that. <laughs> not cured yet, that's why. This definitely is the winner, I think, and this one. So the freezer thing, we might try that again, maybe and leave it a bit longer. Here's another cool looking example of two colors mixed into one. Look at that. Now that is what you want to do. This was left a long time. Again, just over an hour. And then you can create this kind of resin feature. If you want to give this a go, grab yourself some Entropy resins. I'll leave a link below where you can get that. You can either make some really cool blanks to then make something of, or you can make the blanks and sell them. Either way, it's happy days, know what I'm saying? But there it is, folks. So for those of you that wanted to know about this, how to kind of mix and intertwine colors, there's a little experiment for you. A little bit of bonus material from me. Um, hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will come up with a few other different experiments in the future, um, but I thought I'd just put this one out there um, because I thought you might like to see it. But if you could share this video with your friends, family, anyone really, that would be absolutely amazing, and I will catch you all for the next one. Take care.